Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about graph coloring and covering. In our previous classes, we have discussed a few basic concepts on graphs. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, graph coloring is the assignment of colors to vertices. We should assign some colors to the vertices in a graph such that no two adjacent vertices share same color. If you take two adjacent vertices, these two vertices should not share the same color. That is what the concept of graph coloring means. With example, you will get better understanding. Let's take this graph. How many vertices are there? Total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 vertices are there. In order to color this graph, how many colors are needed? Two colors are needed. See here. If you assign blue here, here you cannot assign blue again. Why we cannot assign? Because these two vertices are adjacent. Adjacent vertices should have different colors. It should not share the same color. That is what the concept of graph coloring. So that's why we have assigned blue here, here green. Then you can assign blue here again. Because these two are not adjacent. Again, you can green, blue, green. This is how we assign colors to the graph. Then we color this graph. What's the minimum number of uh, colors needed to color this graph? Two is needed. You can take three also. Blue, green, red. What's wrong? Similarly, the, take the next example. So this is the graph. How many colors are needed to graph this, to color this graph? See, if you, if you place green here, these two are adjacent. That's why we need to place another color, which is blue. If it is blue, you go with green. If it is green, go with blue. Then here, go with black. You cannot take blue or green here. So the minimum number of colors needed to color this graph is three. So that's why we call it as chromatic number. Minimum number of colors needed to color graph is called a chromatic number. So in this graph, what's the chromatic number of this graph? 3 is the chromatic number. Here, the chromatic number is 2. Similarly, the next concept, what is graph covering means? Here, we are having two concepts we need to understand. Line covering and vertex covering. What is meant by line covering means? A subset of edges means you have to pick some subset of edges from the graph. Is called weak call that subset as line covering if every vertex of G is incident with at least one edge whatever the edges we pick you take any vertex that vertex should be incident with one of the edges that we selected then that set of edges we call it as line covering with example you are going to understand it better See, A, B, C, D, this is the graph which we take. Let's take some set of edges, A, B, D, C, A, B, D, C. If you take these two edges, you take any vertex, C. It's there in our edge, one of the edge. D, it's there in one of the edge. A, it's there in one of the edge. B, it's there in one of the edge. Means it, these pair of vert edges are covering all the vertices. That is what line covering means. Now you can you can do one more also. A B A B B C B D. This is also a pair of vertices. A B B C B D. It is going to cover all the vertices. This is also we call it as line covering. Now try to understand the concept of minimal line covering. This minimal vertex covering which we discussed in our previous minimal independent set, maximal independent set, these concepts which we discussed the same way you are going to understand minimal line covering. Means a covering in which no edge can be deleted. See here, A, B, D, C. These are two edges. It is a covering. It is a line covering. Can you are you able to delete any one of the edge from this? No, you cannot delete any one of the edge from this. If you delete one of the edge from this, it is not covering all the vertices. So it is a minimal covering. 
minimal line covering. Similarly, A B B C B D. A B B C B D. Are you able to delete any one of the edge from this? If you remove A B, A is not going to cover. If you remove B C, C is not going to be covered. If you remove B D, D is not going to be covered. So you are not supposed to remove any one of the edge from this. It is also a minimal line covering. So that's why the concept of minimal line covering means a covering in which no edge can be deleted. We, there is no possibility to delete an edge from the covering. Then we say it as minimal line covering. So what is minimum line covering means smallest to minimal line covering is called minimum covering. Means in our example, this is the smallest line covering which we have. This is what we call it as minimum line covering. So now coming to the next one, vertex covering. So in the above example, we have selected edges. Here we have to select vertices. A set of a set of a subset of vertices you need to select. Those vertices should cover all the edges. Then we say it as vertex covering. A subset of vertices is called vertex covering. If every edge in G is incident to any one of the vertex that we selected. Suppose uh, this is the example A, B, C, D. B, C. If you select these two vertices, we call it as vertex covering. Because you take any edge, C, D. C is covering. You take A, B. B is covering. You take C, D. You take any edge, A, C. C is there, B, D, B is there. Every edge in G is incident to any one of the vertex in our vertex covering. Then we say it as vertex covering. The same concept applicable to minimum, minimal vertex cover and minimum vertex cover. The same concept which we discussed above is applied here to vertex covering also. What is minimal vertex covering means you are not supposed to remove any of the vertex from the given set, from the covering set. Then we say it as minimal vertex covering. Among those minimal vertex coverings, you pick the minimum one, smallest one, we call it as minimum vertex cover. So, hope you understand here A, B, D, this is one vertex covering. It is going to cover all the edges. Out of these two, which one is the minimum? B, C is the minimum. So, this is minimum vertex cover. These two are minimal vertex covers. You are not supposed to remove any one of them from here. So, that's why it is called minimal vertex cover. Out of these two, this is minimum. So, that's why minimum vertex cover. Hope you understand the concept of graph coloring and covering. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.